Hey everyone! Happy Wednesday, you guys! I am so excited. Um, you have no idea how excited I am right now. My husband is saying he's excited, but I know he's not as excited as me because we are about to make some frozen treats, super delicious, and um, both of them are going to contain Oreos, which I love. Um, speaking of Oreos, I guess yesterday was National Oreo Day. I didn't see anything about it on Facebook, which I assumed I would. Normally you see all of that stuff shared. Um, but my husband came home, told me it was National Oreo Day, and I said, oh, perfect. I guess I'll have another Oreo for the day. So we are gonna do um, Quixicles in our new Quixicle maker. And we are also going to do um, some ice cream as well. So I'm getting a shared into uh, Mindy's fundraiser right now. You guys, this woman is so amazing. Her and her husband breed dogs, and she is doing a fundraiser. She's doing multiple fundraisers um, to raise funds because they are going to be giving one of their dogs to um, Patriot Assistance Dogs, which trains and um, raises dogs to become, hey Erin, um, to become service animals, um, which is super amazing. So she's doing a Pamper Chef fundraiser right now to um, raise funds again to be able to cover the vet costs for that dog's first year in training, which is amazing. So, and then I have Julie. We are gonna be playing a fun game of bingo coming up next in Julie's party after we do our sweet treats. What are you doing, Erin? I know you must've sent me some pictures. Have you been baking? We just got home a couple minutes ago. I am like jacked up on caffeine right now. We went to a coffee tasting at four o'clock today. Um, and I guess it was a lot more coffee than I thought we were gonna be drinking, but it was delicious and it was super cool. We learned a lot about coffee today. Okay, so first you guys, um, I still have my Quixicle maker. And I also have my ice cream maker in my deep freeze still because you want those both products to be as cold as possible before you use them, okay? So the Quixico maker, once I pull it out, I'll show it to you guys. Hey everyone, hi Mindy. Say hello once you jump on, you guys. Um, if you have questions or anything, go ahead and um, put it in the comments. It'll come through to me and I'll be able to answer you guys right away. Hey Mayor. Um, so Quixicle maker we're gonna do first. We're gonna whip up the ingredients. Um, oh, you're fine, Mindy, I just got on. I was just talking about your amazing fundraiser you're doing um, and your um, donation basically that you are giving to Patriot Assistance Dogs. So um, so Quixicle maker, we are doing cookies and cream Quixicles. I've never tried this recipe before, but I love Oreos and um, any reason that I come up with to buy them, um, I am going to. So I thought, oh my gosh, we can do the cookies and cream Quixicles and then I'm gonna do our basic vanilla ice cream with crushed Oreos in it, which is amazing. It's so good. So, and I don't know how this happened, I should go back to the store and tell them I bought it like this and see if they'll give me a new pack. <laughs> but I ate all those. Okay, you guys, so cookies and cream Quixicles. I have two Quixicle makers. Um, I'm going to leave one of them out on the counter. Once I get the materials in it, we'll see how long it takes. Um, depending on what the substance is that you're putting into the Quixicle wells, you can have literally frozen solid Quixicles in eight minutes which is amazing. Once you guys get the Quixicle maker, you do wanna make sure that you um, freeze it for a full 24 hours before you use it. Um, same thing with the ice cream maker because that is just going to get it, I'm gonna need to go in there, honey. That's gonna get it um, set and ready for your cooking. So we're using um, primarily the same ingredients for both recipes. So I'm gonna use my three cup silicone prep bowl which I know you guys have been chatting about um, in Mindy's party a little bit. These things are really awesome. Um, and I'm really not even gonna use anything else because these have measurement markings on them already, which is really convenient. And then the other thing I'm gonna use is my manual food processor. 
Hi, Ellen. How are you? Um, I'm going to use my manual food processor to chop up all of my Oreos. Um, that's just going to make it easier to um, for everything to blend together. So this Cookies and Cream Quicksicle Maker, super easy again. It says to have about three cookies, which let's do our Oreos first. Um, you guys, if you are making the Quicksicles or if you are doing ice cream, and I'm going to do over three because I'm going to add some into my ice cream. Um, it, how many? Five, six? I mean, more the merrier, right? So if you are doing, um, where am I going? Oh, um, either the Quicksicle, whatever you are putting inside of the wells, or the ice cream maker, the colder your ingredients going inside, the better. Hey, Jill. Look at those babies. Okay, I'm going to stop talking and just crush these. So just pump up and down. You can see it'll break them up. When they're whole, sometimes they don't always get under the blade right away. So I like to just give it a little shake. And do a couple more pulses. Obviously you can make it as fine as you want to or as coarse as you want to. Um, I will tell you guys, um, cause I really like double stuff Oreos too. Um, if you get the double stuff and you try chop them in your um, manual food processor, because there's so much of like the cream filling, sometimes it does get a little um, stuck. Like you guys saw, it was kind of stuck right away. So if your cookie doesn't like get under there right away, again, just give it like a little shake. Um, and the double stuff, again, you might have to just like use your finger to move some of the filling around. Um, but otherwise, this is perfect for crushing your cookies. Okay. So next step, did I finish this? Oh yeah, I'm all over the place, you guys. I told you I had way too much caffeine today. Literally like just a couple hours ago. So um, Quicksicles or your ice cream again, I like to keep my ingredients and I just put them in there within the last 10 minutes. Um, I like to keep them in the freezer for a couple minutes before I'm actually gonna use them just so they get really nice and cold because you want it to be as cold as you can possibly get it. Um, it's just gonna help things go a little bit faster. So it calls for three quarters of a cup of half and half, which again, I'm not measuring because this has the measurement lines on it. So I'm just going halfway between the half mark. You know what? There's a tiny bit left. I'm just gonna dump it in. So I have almost a cup. I'll have a little bit extra, but honestly, I'm just gonna add, if there's anything left, I'm just gonna add it right into my ice cream mixture. And then we want one teaspoon of honey. You guys, for this, um, I really love our adjustable measuring spoons. If you guys haven't seen these, they're amazing. So this is the tablespoon, this is the teaspoon, and these um, black pieces slide up and down on both of them. And you can see there are multiple, see it'll be blurry, there are multiple measurement markings on them. So each of these measuring spoons is gonna give you five different measurements, if that makes sense. They come as a set really awesome um, and then literally you have 10 different measurements between these two measuring spoons and you don't have random measuring spoons um, you know all over all over your cupboard or your drawer um, so one teaspoon of honey you guys I'm honestly not even going to measure because I'm not a big measurer um, and I'm almost to the bottom of my jar of honey too can you guys see it coming oh yeah look at that that looks kind of neat so about a teaspoon of honey I mean, if you wanted to put a little extra in, you could. Uh, with the Quicksicle Maker now, uh, make sure, and a quarter teaspoon vanilla, that's barely anything. Make sure you are using ingredients in those wells that does have sugar in it because if you try freeze like anything that's sugar free or anything that has um, even like artificial sugars in it, or um, even just like water, it can um, literally just like freeze so rock solid that you you know can't really get it out of the wells. So that was supposed to be about three cookies. That's probably a little too much, but and then it just says to mix well. So I'm gonna use my mixing scraper, just mix these up really really well. Yay! And then I'm gonna grab my Quicksicle maker. So I have two of them. Uh, we will put the solution in one and. 
Hi, Natasha. How is everyone, you guys? Everyone who's joined in, what are you guys up to? So let's just give this a mix. Let me grab my quick skill makers. Baby, these are cold. Okay, so here they are, you guys. Super cute. Here's the wells. They have fill line marks right here. So you fill up to this little spot here. And they do recommend putting the sticks in the wells first. And you guys will be able to see the whole process from start to finish. So what I'm going to do is just line up my sticks. You do get six quicksicle sticks with your quicksicle maker. And then they do have a little accessory set as well that you guys can order um, in addition to your Quixicle maker. So I maybe could have chopped my Oreos a little more finely, but you know what? We'll just see how it goes. So put your sticks in first because if you don't, you might just overfill it a little bit, and which isn't that big of a deal, but it is helpful to put your sticks in first. And all you do is just pour. So super simple, um, really fun for kids. You guys can customize these as much as you want. Um, again, just make sure you do have um, some sort of like fat or some, um, not even fat, I guess. You don't have to have fat, but make sure you do have some sort of sugar in here, okay? And if you do um, any with alcohol in them, so like adult, adult friendly quicksicles. Yep, should have chopped my Oreos a little more finely. But you know what? They'll freeze in there. They'll melt. Okay, so here's one. I'm going to leave this baby. It's 7.42, you guys. I'm going to set it to the side. I'm going to set my timer for eight minutes. And we'll see what those look like after eight minutes. This other one, I'm honestly just going to stick um, back into the deep freeze because um, obviously it'll freeze faster. So um, you are supposed to be able to get um, three batches of Quixicles out. Oh, look at that. Yep, definitely. Okay, you guys, if you do this one, chop your Oreos a lot more finely. Um, if you do these and your Quixicle maker is super duper cold, you are supposed to be able to get um, up to three batches out of it before you have to put it back in your freezer, okay? So... And that's how cold it is. Like, this is literally sticking to the top of the Quicksicle maker already. Oh my gosh. I just want to lick my fingers so bad right now. You guys, I really wish you could taste these. Okay. Come on, baby. There we go. Mmm, look at that. So my cookie soaked up a lot of the liquid. Hi, Casey. Hi. Amanda, Megan. Hi, ladies. What's everyone doing? And I should have a little ray here. Okay. So this baby, I got two out of there. My Oreo soaked up the rest of my liquid. And honestly, I didn't even look to see how many servings I'd get out of this. You guys, this other one that's on my counter is already setting on the outside. Oh, no wonder. It's only supposed to yield three servings, so that would definitely make sense. Well, I'll just leave both of them out. We'll see what happens. So if you guys are making this one for multiple people, one batch of what I just did is going to get you three quicksicles. So make sure you double it, triple it, whatever you need to do. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to show you how these come out. And actually, let me show this to you guys quickly because I do have some in my freezer right now. So that's the cool thing. If you have extra sticks, um, yeah, Megan, this is going to be awesome for you. Obviously I don't have them in a freezer tight or a freezer safe baggie. Cause these have like, um, a little bit of frost on the outside, but this is what they look like when they come out, you guys. So these are Pina Colada Quixicles. Megan, I know you got to try one of these, um, but if you get um, multiple sticks or if you're doing like a party or anything like that, you can make a bunch of them ahead of time and just keep them in the freezer, put them in a freezer safe baggie or container, um, and then you can just pull them out when you're ready to use them or eat them, right? And here's something else that's cool. Um, these are new as well, you guys. Um, there are reusable. Hi. How do you pronounce your name? Is it Gnome? Dome? I should know this. I'm sorry. Yeah, so these are so cool. 
Um, we have reusable um, treat cups. So sometimes I'll just eat my ice cream out of these. It's like a little ice cream cone. So you can use it as a bowl. Obviously it's nice because it's reusable so there's no waste. And then also there's like no drippings, right? So um, great for kids. And then they do have tops that come with them and they just snap into place. And you get cute little spoons with them. And the quicksicle sticks fit inside of them. Let me put my phone straight up and down. So how cool is that? So again, with kids, if you don't want them making a mess, you can put their whole treat right inside of here. And as it drips, it'll just go straight down into the comb. Oh my gosh, Janelle Marie. Oh my gosh, no wonder I don't know how to pronounce your name. How are you? I'll get you hooked up with somebody in Canada, Janelle Marie. So super fun, you guys. Um, these are great too if you add a little bit of rum to the recipe. Then you can do a bunch um, pre-made for the kids. And then if you want some um, for the adults, you can do some for the adults as well. Oh, and here's the little spoons, you guys. Look at how cute these are. They have little smiley faces on them. Little happy spoons. So those are super fun. Okay, oops, sorry you guys, I'm shaking you up. Giving you a little shake. Okay, next, the ice cream maker. Now you guys, I wasn't gonna do ice cream. I forgot to get my top out. Um, I wasn't gonna do ice cream because I know you guys have probably seen me do the ice cream maker a couple of times, especially last summer. However, I thought if I am doing Oreos and I already have, um, well, I guess I had to buy the heavy whipping cream separate, but I'm okay having heavy whipping cream in my fridge. So here's the other thing I wanna show you guys. Um, first, while we're still on the Quicksicle Maker, okay? So there is the accessory set that I mentioned that you can get. You get these cute little tongs, which fit perfectly in there. Um, if you guys wanna put like sliced fruit or anything like that in your um, Quicksicle, you can. So this is really nice for that because it fits in there perfect. And then you do get this perfect measuring cup and it has a really great pour spout. Um, so a couple cool things about this. Um, obviously, if you wanna do one quicksicle, two quicksicles, or all three, you have your measurement lines there. But if you wanna make a layered quicksicle, this will show you on the back side if you want um, like a third of it a different layer or if you want half of it a different layer. That may not make sense to you guys right now how I explain it. However, um, your Quixicle Maker will come with a little recipe book and um, you'll be able to see the pictures like there, it's two different flavors in one Quixicle, if that makes sense. So, yeah, these are definitely setting up. This is so cool. I'm happy I get to show these to you guys. Don't mind me, I just had a little nibble. Okay. So next, let's whip up our ice cream, and this is super easy too. Um, this will not be done churning by the time I get off the live, but you guys will be able to see a little bit of it if you haven't seen the ice cream maker yet. So, put you guys back down. Again, it's basically the same ingredients, so I'm using my exact same three cup um, silicone prep bowl. And I'm gonna need two cups of heavy whipping cream. Again, my heavy whipping cream and my whole milk were in my freezer um, just for like the last 15 minutes or so to get them an extra chill. Now, if you don't have room in your freezer and you can't put that stuff in there, that's totally fine. Um, sometimes I'll even just mix up my liquid and I'll put it inside. Oh, my Oreos are covering my measurement marks. Okay, so two cups of heavy whipping cream. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay. Yum. And then I need one cup whole milk. I mean, this is some legit ice cream, you guys. It is so good. So let's pour up to my next mark. All right, I'm gonna put these babies back in the fridge quick. Milk is one thing I definitely like to have ice, ice cold. And then, oh yeah, we need sugar. I forgot sugar goes in here. A little bit of vanilla, one teaspoon of vanilla, which again, you guys, we'll just put the rest of that in there. 
That looks like about a tablespoon, right? Oh, there's my timer. Well, you guys, since the timer went off, let's look and see what these look like. Ooh. Okay, so I can already tell in the middle, you guys will be able to see a little bit. Okay, so on the outskirts, it's hard, right? You see that it's totally set on the outside, but in the middle, it's still a little runny. This one's even better because I didn't overflow this one. So that one's, oh, that's not the best angle. I suppose I could take my phone off. Gosh, you guys, what am I doing? Thanks, Janelle Marie. Yes, your little man would love this. So I'll show you guys what this looks like at a better angle. So there you go. I'm gonna let these sit a little bit longer and probably because it's a little bit more fatty. If I had like regular juice in here, these would totally be ready to go. But you can see, look at that, it's frozen. This is so cool, you guys, and so fun. Like you can customize and mix and match as much as you want. Really awesome. Look at how these ones turned out. Way too much Oreo, that's awesome. Ooh, I think that baby's done. Okay, let's test this one. It didn't have as much in it. All right, putting you guys back up. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, here we go. Now, this is the key. It's literally what they call it, the key. This will come with your Quixicle maker, so you'll get it. There is a little, like, screw on the inside. You see that? And then the Quixicle sticks, if you guys didn't see, also have little holes in them. And you'll literally use it like, I mean, just like a screwdriver, like righty tighty, lefty loosey, or if you're tightening something. So you'll take your key, you'll put it on top of your quicksicle stick, and again, righty tighty, you'll just turn to the right, and you're gonna wanna twist. And once you guys do this in person, you will be able to see this, but you'll see your quicksicle like give a little bit, if that makes sense, and the tension will get tight, right? Did you hear that? So there, it just came out. So once you know that it's loosened from the inside, lefty-loosey, untwist it. Sorry guys, that's not a very good angle for you. But then you can just pull your quicksicle out. <gasps> Look at that, oh my gosh, and there's extra on the top. So this one again obviously didn't get as full. Mm, my gosh, okay. Wow. Mm. Holy smokes, that's delicious. Let's see if this is better. Definitely not better. Sorry guys, I should have thought about, about my angle here. Okay, so let's try it this way. So righty tighty, righty tighty. With my left hand, this is difficult. It's really not this difficult to twist if you have your hand holding it down. Sorry guys, I should have my cameraman tonight. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so it just gave right there. Did you see it kind of pop up? So lefty loosey, untwist it. And this one definitely did not have as much in it, but look at how awesome that is. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. And then the sticks too, I didn't show you guys close up. This like little hatch, cross hatch pattern on it is um, there purposefully. Um, it is because it helps your frozen treat, whatever it is, stick to the stick better. So you know if you guys have like regular popsicles, a lot of times it'll melt like around the stick um, and it'll just like fall off the stick. So that's what that is intended um, to prevent. So super neat. And I mean, when I say Pamper Chef thinks of everything, they think of everything. All right, you guys, let me grab my ice cream maker quick. And we'll dump in our mixture. Okay, so what questions do you guys have watching? Anything, curious about anything? So here's the base of the ice cream maker. It's pretty small, um, really perfect. Obviously you can do multiple batches at a time. Um, both this and my Quixicle makers, I keep in my deep freeze all the time, whether they are empty or not. Um, your ice cream maker will come with a really nice silicone lid. So you can just, it's just like our stretch, excuse me, our stretch fit ones. So if you make ice cream, you have leftovers, just store this whole thing back in your deep freeze with the lid on it. And then you will also get this cover and like the little motorized part for it, okay? 
So there are little slots on the sides that you just put the lid on and you just twist to lock into place. And I'm gonna plug it in. Now, when you guys use your ice cream maker, regardless of whatever you are putting in it, make sure you turn it on first so that the paddle starts churning and turning before you add in your ingredients. Just because this base gets so cold, um, it can freeze right away, which obviously would prevent your paddle from spinning, okay? So my paddle also, you guys, and I guess I need to put it on first. I always keep my paddle in the freezer as well. Um, normally I just keep it in the base of the ice cream maker, but I just had ice cream in it. Um, so I like to keep my paddle in the freezer as well because the colder the ingredients are, the faster it'll go, okay? And it just clips right on just like that, okay? So that's how that works. Really um, compact, so really great for apartment or a small house. Um, obviously, you know, it's just my husband and I. Um, he doesn't eat a ton of ice cream, so this is like perfect for us because then I can get my ice cream, he can have a couple bites, and we still have leftovers. So I'm going to turn it on, power, and then there's a power button and a timer button, okay? So I'm going to put it on 20 minutes. And I'm gonna let it, obviously it's churning. Let's whisk our mixture here just a little bit. And again, the silicone prep bowl, you guys, is perfect for this with the pour spout, because then I can fit it right inside there. And then if you do add any add-ins, like I'm gonna do my Oreo chunks, add those in in the last couple of minutes because you want your ice cream mixture or you know your frozen yogurt mixture whatever it is you want that to churn and to thicken before you add in your mix-ins okay so i'll take you guys off here and i'll let you see what that looks like on the inside oh goodness gracious i don't think i was locked in place did that scare you guys because that scared me I've never heard it do that before. And my lid totally slipped out of place. Okay, so there's the little slot I was telling you guys. Make sure it's all the way to the side, either side. And then your paddle just spins like that. So 20 minutes again, here's your timer and your power button. Once you push the timer button, it goes in five minute increments. Um, there's multiple, multiple recipes for this as well. So if you, you know, need to do more, hi Marilyn. If you need to do more than 20 minutes, you can do that. If you need to do less, you have all those options. I don't know if you can see. Oh, I mean, maybe a little bit. You can kind of see it's hardening and setting on the outside already. Super delicious. So, wow. I really wish you guys could come try these sweet treats with me because I know my husband's not really going to indulge. So I'm definitely gonna have sweet treats for the next couple of days. All right, just cause I'm curious. You guys wanna stick around, we'll test out another one. And you guys, these have been on my countertop the whole time, right? So really awesome. Let's see how this baby goes. Again, hold it down with your other hand when you're twisting. Hi, Jackie. Yeah, Oreo, right? I know, sorry, I don't have my camera, man. Okay. There we go. So there it gave. Righty tidy. Now lefty loosey. Now this one should be full. Oh, wow. How cool is that? Never in a million years did I think I would be eating an Oreo like popsicle or quicksicle. How cool is that? Love it. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. Um, I will post recipes for these, um, both of these recipes. I'll post them for you guys. Um, and then when my ice cream is all ready and I got my Oreo chunks in there, I'll share that with you guys as well. So those of you in Julie's party, I'll be back in a half hour, 8.30 Eastern time, 7.30 Central. We're going to do some bingo. Um, and then Mindy, your fundraiser, I will check you guys out later questions comments concerns anything you guys when you check this out later let me know drop your comments or whatever you have um, in the comment feed and oh my gosh Janelle Marie I will um, 
I'll chat with you soon, okay? Thanks for tuning in, you guys. See you later.